All right, keep the show going. Welcome to the stage, Jeremy Rosenberg. Thank you. Why am I just now finding out about this candy store that's open till 2 a.m.? <laughs> Did you know about this? All right, the last thing I need is another bad habit. I got a bad habit of picking up bad habits, actually. Um, <laughs> Seriously, everywhere I go, I pick up a bad habit. I moved to Montreal, I started smoking. I moved to Calgary, I started drinking. I moved to Vancouver, I started wearing Lululemon yoga pants under all my clothes. <laughs> I can't breathe, but my ass looks fantastic, really. It's wonderful. But, uh, you like that? Um, skinny girls can be insensitive, you know? I was having lunch with some skinny girls, skinny girls, and they would not stop going on about how easy it is to lose weight. Hello? If I had no arms, would you be going on about how easy it is to pick your nose? <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to the gym now, though. It's uh, not easy being the fat guy at the gym, I gotta tell ya. You know, the place is full of these buff guys. You know, they're all uh, squatting the, the, the glutes and the pumping the pecs and they're all uh, crunching the abs. You know, they're all, they're all working on their perfect six-packs. I'd be happy with a two-four, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, um, so my wife and I are trying to adopt a baby. Yeah, it's exciting, but boy, is it hard. Long, difficult process. I think my wife's starting to crack up. I keep catching her down at the mall, walking up to pregnant ladies, going, you gonna keep that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, just asking. But now it's all about names, right? What do you name your kid? She, if it's a girl, she wants to go with some inspirational name, you know, like, like Hope or Destiny or Faith. Yeah, the problem is I don't, these girls are going to be teenagers one day, and I do not want to inspire teenage boys, right? Like, hey, dude, you got to have faith, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm naming my daughter Chlamydia. No one's trying to get to second base with Chlamydia. I'll pay for the therapy later. The, um, I actually think my wife might be a werewolf. Yeah, no, follow me with this. She's got like two inch long fingernails. I keep finding clumps of hair in the drain. And every 28 days, she goes berserk and tries to rip my face off. Doesn't that sound like a werewolf? Yeah, but uh, we just celebrated our seventh anniversary. Yeah, whoa, I know. Big seven, yeah. But um, of course, anniversary time means she brings out the old scorecard to uh, let me know how I've been as a husband this year. Yeah. She sounds like, a, a, like a, an announcer from a baseball game as she reads. She's like, Jeremy Rosenberg has committed 35 errors this season. He forgot my birthday and left his toenails in the sink four times. His on-base percentage is dropping fast. And at this rate, he's going to set a record for cold showers. But... Um, Cats will keep you on your toes. I don't know if you got a cat, but uh, you know, my wife and I will be sitting on the couch and all of a sudden we'll hear it. Oompa, oompa, oompa. She's up like a shot. Not on the carpet! All of a sudden she's a curling skip trying to get this cat onto the laminate floor. Hurry hard! Hurry hard! You brat. There's no stopping a cat in mid-barf. Uh, the, uh, you know, sometimes you see these, these signs that just make absolutely no sense. It's like, why bother? I went to the movie theater, and they put a sign up that says, uh, laser pointers are forbidden in this theater. Like the asshat who brought the laser pointer to the theater is going to go, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go. Doesn't make sense. But uh, my mom's on Facebook now which is exciting, it's nice to keep in touch with mom, but she will not stop sending me this stupid junk mail and chain letters. It's like, what did mothers do before the internet? Like, how did they send their kids this stuff, right? 
like what I, in the Middle Ages, would I be out there chopping wood, and a guy on a horse would come riding up and pull out a scroll, and be like, "Dearest son, great news! Forward this rider to ten friends." And so William of Gates will send you five shillings. Ignore this message and a pox upon you. Of course, back then, going viral meant you caught the Black Plague, so we have made a little progress. Um, hey, when did TLC become the Freak Show channel? Coming up on TLC, Little Pregnant Hoarders. You know, their, uh, their slogan, their slogan is uh, TLC, life surprises. It should be TLC, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm a freak, give me a show. Coming up on TLC, men who name their kids chlamydia. <laughs> and the werewolves who love them. <laughs> TLC, that's fucked up. Thanks, folks. That's my time. Enjoy the rest of the show.